Hi artists, today I'm going to draw my favorite food, a burrito. I am going to use two diagonal lines. They are almost parallel, but not quite. It will be a little bit wider on the side that is closer to me because this makes it look more realistic. Here I am going to draw a U-shaped curvy line to create the fold of the burrito wrap or the tortilla. I am going to use two other curved lines to make it look like it's folded and overlapping. Now this end is where you can see everything that's stuffed in my burrito. I am going to use a squiggly wiggly line to create some lettuce. If you don't like lettuce, that's okay. You don't have to add it to your burrito. Now I'm going to add some more wiggly lines for rice. I'm going to add some curvy shapes to represent beans. But again, if you don't like those things, you don't have to add them. This is your burrito. I'm going to make those shapes on both sides so that it is symmetrical. Here I'm going to add a wavy line to represent the guacamole. If you want, it could be sauce or sour cream or something else. Now I'm going to think about the filling or the meat that's in my burrito. This could be chicken or beef or pork or tofu. It's really up to you because it's your burrito. Now that my burrito is stuffed with filling, I am going to go ahead and add a face. I'm going to use two circles with the two curvy lines that I'm going to leave white and I'm going to fill in the rest with my pencil. You could wait and do this with your Sharpie, but I like to see where I'm going to trace over it when I'm all done. Now that I am happy with my drawing, I am going to trace with my Sharpie. I like to trace with my Sharpie so that my lines stand out when I color. I've cleaned up my drawing with my eraser and I am ready to color. I'm going to use crayons today. You can use whatever coloring materials that you have around.
here is my burrito. I hope you had fun with yours, and as always, be creative.